All right, guys. So a uh, simple little project today. This is a mini Indian frame, little mini bike. I'll put some pictures up. Uh, I've already done some other videos on it. We're going to be restoring one. Uh, this frame has been powder coated. It's not perfect. You won't find a lot of these frames that are perfect. You see, there's some a little bit of old rust on there. Not a big deal. That's under the seat. But the project for today is to make some swing arm bushings. This is where the swing arm goes kind of clamps around there and we have some bushings these are what I believe is phenolic but they're a little loose first of all and they're too tight on the swing arm bolt so can't use these we also need to lengthen them a little bit because there's actually a dimple right here you see this dimple that has to the bushing actually has to ride up against that dimple so we'll have to lengthen them a little bit so we'll get a measurement of the bolt and it's 11.92 millimeters uh, we'll probably make it 12 on that so it's a uh, not a loose fit but not a tight fit on the actual swing arm they measure out to be 16 millimeters so I got a piece of Delrin plastic in the chuck here. Uh, it's one of my favorite materials and it'll work fine for this application, I think. And the first thing we're gonna do is bring this down to 16 millimeters. We're at 21 and a half right now. Just gonna get a touch off and my, uh, my little DRO on the side of the slide here is not working at the moment. Probably needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna use my I'm just going to use the end of my digital calipers to 21 and a half. I'm going to move in. Let's just do two millimeters to begin with. That should be four in total, right? Yep. All right, let's take a cut there. And see what that's coming out as just in case it's about 18 that's what it should be let's go ahead and cut that and then we'll come back and do the other obviously I'm not too worried about surface finish here in case you're curious how I'm doing how I'm measuring this without my DRO I'm just putting my caliper up like that with it extended out onto the face of the, the moving moving face. I'm going to zero it and then I'm going to I'm going to zero it and then we're going to move the slide in one. See where we're at now. I'll back off just a little bit. Seems to be a little bit tight. Let's check that. That's just a hair. That's a uh, tenth over 16 millimeter let's go ahead with that and then I can shave down what I need for the rest with the file to get it right on a little slower to get a little better surface finish Yeah, about a tenth over. 
That's a tenth of a millimeter, not a tenth of thousandth. Okay, I think that's going to be an interference fit, so now let's uh, get a hole in it. So now our bolt, bolt's 12 millimeter, 11.97, 12, 11.98. So I don't have a 12 millimeter drill bit, but that's four, that's about 472. It's about 472 thousandths, which is closest is 1530 seconds at uh, 468 thousandths, so about four thousandths off. So if we get a 1530 second, okay, so I, I think I need to get some new drills. Uh, the only 1730 seconds I have is a stub drill, which is not long enough to go this length so the closest thing I have that is long enough is a 27 27 60 force which is about 50 thousands off but I can ream out the rest so let's go ahead and do that I'm sorry not ream out I can bore out the rest as far as my tailstock will reach so I gotta bring it up closer all right I think I got it on there on center Come over touch off there well I'm glad I started checking that because that's not that's I had my measurements mixed up uh, 12 is what we're looking for for the so I've actually gone over a little bit but that's okay because I haven't messed the whole thing up, just a bit of it. So we're going to come in just a hair. I'd like it a little tighter, but I think it's going to be all right. It's a bushing, not a not a fixture. Um, okay, so I'm at the length of my boring bar now. So what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and cut off part of this. But I need to know what length I need to cut it off. Roughly. I'm going to have to be perfect here. I'm just going to measure the frame here. Let's say 41 millimeter. That'll make it. That'll make it a little bit longer than I need. See, I just chopped that off with a bandsaw. I'll clean that up. Um, we need to make sure it's the right length though first. And I'm just going to tap that in there. Can tap it back out. It's actually about perfect. All right, so there's the first one in there. And basically, I'm just going to rinse and repeat to do the next one. But what I wanted to show you real quick, too, was that this bolt has a little bit of corrosion in the center of it. So when it gets to that point, it's a good fit until it gets to that corrosion point. And then it gets a little tight. And then when it gets past that corrosion point in the middle, it gets better again. So I'm going to chuck this up, too, and just... Uh, soften this up a little bit just uh, use some sandpaper and just take that down a little bit all 
Okay, so that's what I want. It's a tight fit, but I can actually turn it by hand. That'll work. So I'll make the other one, and then uh, I'm done with this bit of it, and we can start putting the frame together. And as always, I appreciate you watching, guys. You know, it's it's simple projects like this that that uh, are what this machine's good for, and. Um, you know, you, you have to do these things when you're restoring old bikes. They're just uh, a lot of little tiny projects like this.